What's going on guys, this is Snoof603 and Fake Thriller, and welcome to another episode of our Battlefield 3 weapon reviews. Today we're looking at the AN-94. The AN-94 is available for the Assault class only, and is unlocked after earning 166,000 points within the Assault class. A little weapon info on the AN-94. The nation of origin is Russia. The magazine capacity is 30 rounds and a magazine plus one in the chamber. The fire rate is 600 rounds per minute. The fire type is two round burst at default, but can be switched to full auto. The reload time is 2.6 seconds with a bullet chambered and 3.5 seconds when the magazine is empty. The damage for this weapon is 25 hit points of damage per bullet at eight meters, trailing down to 17 hit points of damage per bullet out to 50 meters. A quick note, some of you may have noticed in battle log or other sources, a fire rate of 1200 rounds per minute. What that's referring to is a theoretical fire rate in burst mode between the two bullets fired. It's not an actual sustainable fire rate in full auto. Fake Thriller once said in a previous weapon review that a certain gun had roll confusion. Personally, I think that the AN-94 epitomizes roll confusion for guns in Battlefield 3. It's an assault rifle with the quirkiest fire mode options, recoil and fire rate that matches most LMGs, and although its damage stats are average for an assault rifle, it feels like it has the knockdown power of an SMG. The two things that stand out the most about this gun are that it doesn't have a semi-auto mode, and the horrendous recoil. I haven't used every assault rifle yet, but of those that I have used, this is by far the worst one. My biggest problem is that I find it difficult to keep people in my line of sight at any range. I know you don't see it in most of this gameplay, but trust me, I tried to burst fire only with this gun, and it's much more a hindrance than it is a help. The only way that I could make this gun work was to use an extremely slow style of gameplay, going burst, pause, repeat. If I wanted to keep my enemy in my sights, I had to pause long enough for this gun to come back down and resettle before I could take another shot. And in Battlefield 3, for any gunfights close and long range, you don't get the luxury of shooting that slowly and expect to win your gunfights. Higher fire rate weapons reign supreme in Battlefield 3, putting this gun at the bottom of the pile. Of all these assault rifles, I rank the AN-94 down among the worst of them, because it lacks versatility. I found it was best suited in a much more stationary role, best for use when sitting tight to cover and going with the burst, pause, burst type of firing. To get the most out of it, you need to allow time for that pause in between bursts. This is one of the last weapons you want to be using while playing TDM, but it can be used in limited situations while holding an objective from afar in Conquest or Rush. My preferred attachments are the Cobra RDS, Foregrip, and Heavy Barrel. The Heavy Barrel will help with the added accuracy at range, and the Foregrip offers only a little aid in stabilizing this gun when firing. Overall, I'm giving the AN-94 1 out of 5 stars. Its unruly recoil and low rate of fire make this one of the least desirable weapons. You certainly can't rely on it in close quarter combat situations or medium range gunfights. And even at long range gunfights, you'll find kills are still hard to come by. The AN-94 is a very situational weapon. Every time you spawn, by default, the AN-94 is set to burst fire mode. This pretty much dictates the most effective playstyle, and that style is a mid-range support role. The two-bullet burst fire mode is most effective on slow-moving or stationary opponents. I found the AN-94 to be much less effective when in close range or when targeting enemies who are on the run. Now don't get me wrong, I really like using the AN-94. It really plays into my support playstyle. However, its default burst fire setting keeps me from really playing the objective as hard as I would with most other guns. Again, the burst fire default setting really reduces this gun's effectiveness in all situations, which loses it points in my opinion. When I do use the AN-94, I prefer the Cobra Red Dot Sight with a foregrip and the heavy barrel. The heavy barrel goes a long way in reducing the spread between bullets, making this gun kill that much quicker. With all things considered, I'm gonna give the AN-94 a four out of five stars. Great if you learn how to use it, but simply limited in terms of versatility. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up another Shoosty Bang Battlefield 3 weapon review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Overall, the AN-94 has earned a two and a half out of five stars. The next weapon review we're going to be doing is going to be a PDW. Also, if you're interested in watching the previous weapon reviews that we've done, there's a link in the description to take you to the playlist featuring all of our weapon reviews. And last but not least, do us a favor and in the comments, let us know how what you guys think of the gun and give it a rating. We'd like to hear what your guys' opinion on this gun is. That's gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash fake thriller and twitter.com slash snoof603.